The following gameplay contains content that some viewers may not find appropriate, feel safe with hearing or discussing, including being put in jail, abuse, and murder. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, welcome to Club Chrisette. I'm your host, Chrisette, and today we're going to start playing through a game called Richard and Alice. So, this is a game I haven't played in two years, but the story overall still sticks pretty well with me, and I would like to share it with you guys as well, and hopefully by the end of our playthroughs we can have discussions about it, like what the characters have gone through, and just the world they're in. It's really interesting to me. Let's play Richard and Alice. It's not a very Halloween-ish game, but it's still a pretty good game. Click anywhere to continue. It's snowing again. Aw, oh, man. What's wrong with that, son? The last lot's barely melted yet. I'm fed up of the snow. Every time, it's the same. It's cold, it's wet, and everything comes to a standstill. It makes me feel miserable, Dad. Rich, listen to me. Remember what I used to say? Ah, oh, Dad, not now. <laughs> Alright, but you know... Dad, come on. What's really the problem, son? You used to love the snow. I was a kid back then. I guess I've just grown up. It doesn't feel magical anymore. <sighs> what nonsense. It still feels magical to me, and I'm twice your age. Three times, Dad. Maybe even four. <laughs> the cheek. You don't want to grow up too quickly, son. Trust me. Oh my god, I know. No one... Everyone who wants to grow up, no, like, don't. <laughs> Adulthood sucks, for the most part. One day, a time will come when you have no choice but to grow up, and you'll miss days like this. Sorry? The, s the magic. The snow. Snowmen. Go enjoy it, I say. Dad. Yep. You can be a right sap sometimes. <laughs> Perhaps. But okay. The snow is great fun. I cannot wait to build a snowman. Happy now? Very. And I don't... And don't think I can't see that smirk on your face too, mister. Now go. Give your friends a call. Go out and play. It's snowing. And it just kept snowing. <laughs> Deep in the rainforest of Honduras lives a fascin lives this fascinating creature. It is a brown-throated sloth, the most widespread and common of the three-toed sloths in the area. The sloth sleeps for an incredible 18 hours per day, and is only active in a few second bursts. It's not all- it's not active at all anymore. Although, they can walk along the ground and even swim they spend most of their lives in high branches of the trees, descending once every eight days or so to defecate in the soil. That's all they ever show on here. Reruns of ancient nature documentaries. It's a very different world on the outside now. Oh well. We're not here to be entertained. Adult animals are solitary. Except when raising young, they do not deal well with company. Wow! It's just like real adults, like human adults. <laughs> Males have, have been observed to fight one another using their foreclaws. 
Huh? Was that someone in the cell opposite? It's been empty for, well, for as long as I've been here. Hello? Hello? Hi there. It's been a while since I've seen another face. How are you? I mean, not great, I assume, since you've just... I'm Richard, anyway. Nice to meet you. Uh, hello? Hi. I said I'm... I heard what you said. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to... I mean, I thought I'd say hello. I know I wanted some company when I first got here, but... Do you want to be left alone? No. Sorry. It's okay. Well, like I said, I'm Richard, and you are... Alice. Alice. Pleased to meet you, Alice. Um, quite the conversationalist, huh? Sorry. It's been a long time since I've spoken to anyone, really. I'll let you get settled anyway. No, honestly, it's fine. Sorry. I guess I'm just a bit flustered. That's understandable. So, what did you want to talk about? I'm not sure. What's the protocol for meeting new people in prison? I'm not used to there being anyone in that cell. The ceiling had collapsed. They only got around to fixing it recently. Should we get to know each other? You can't see it because my face is in the way. I apologize. Um, our two options are Richard or Alice. Let's go with Alice. So, what are you in for? Murder. Um, are you, uh, serious? Yeah. Well, it's what they say. And did you do it? If I told you yes, would you be scared of me? I, I'm not. Relax. There's two sets of bars between us. Put it this way. I've learned some things recently. Oh? Yeah, about moral relativity, I suppose you'd call it. How do you mean? Well, since the snow started, Things have changed, right? Definitely, there's no denying that. They didn't predict it soon enough. No one was able to bring it under control. It took over, dominated our lives. It changed people, but only because they were forced to adapt. So, what are you saying? <sighs> what I'm saying is, I used to think killing was wrong, under all circumstances, but now? Now I'm not so sure what I think anymore. So... Do you want to know about me? Well... Sure, whatever. Well, I'm Richard, as you know, and uh... Oh gosh. What do you want to know? Whatever. Right. Where to start? Where to start? Well, I was in the military. Actually, that's why I'm here. I broke some rules, shall we say. I mean, don't get me wrong. I stand by what I did. Those men were petrified. They were heading for certain death. I couldn't bring myself to be... Well, anyway. You've been here a while, then. Organized... War... Organized warfare is a thing of the past. Yeah, yeah. You could say that. All the violence that the weather brought with it. More needless wars. These days, it's just chaos, or so I hear. I just don't want to believe it needed to happen. Sure. 
no one dealt with the weather well. I understand that. And I understand that deaths were inevitable. But so much fighting? I don't know. I think being a parent has settled my views on that. Um... Sorry, sorry. I was just... Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry. Go on. Well, that was really it. I don't know. I'd do anything to protect my daughter. Have you got kids? Little boy. Marnie. That's a nice name. I bet you miss him. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Getting used to being away from your family is the hardest part. I keep a photo of mine by my bed, stare at it every night until I fall asleep. Can I see? Uh, sure. I'll find a way of getting it across to you. Bear with me. <laughs> Family photograph. My gorgeous family. I'll take this. Let's see. Clean the pockets. Dirty. Clean clothes. Dirty clothes. I should check these trouser pockets, actually, in case something unwanted goes through the wash. Well, what do you know? It's my computer login stick. He wouldn't be able to use the computer much after that if it got washed. Yep, I'm still here. Spare sheet. Spare duvet cover. I don't need anything else from the wardrobe. So we're gonna combine those two. There we go. I've tied them together. Come on. Right. Let's try this. Grab the sheet at your side. Pull the end into your cell. There we go. I'll put it on the sheet. Then I'll slowly inch it across, okay? Okay. Okay. There you go. Got it. Let's see. This photo. Wow. Your partner is beautiful. And your daughter? So adorable. That was taken a while ago now, obviously. Things had started to get bad, but, well, we were together. We were happy, you know? Yeah. Don't get me wrong, we had our ups and downs as a family. I suppose that's always the way, though. My wife and I were separated now. Happened shortly before I came here. We parted on okay terms, but I have no idea where she is now, or even if she is, I suppose. A lot's changed, but some things stay the same. Families feud, but they come together when the going gets tough. They've always seemed to have a way of doing that. My experience, anyway. It's... Oh, hey, hey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm... I'm fine. I'm sorry. I'm... I'm just being stupid. It's not stupid. It's a stressful time for you. I'm sorry for talking so much. No, no, it's not that. It's nice. I just... Looking at your daughter. Uh, your son? Yeah. But he's safe, right? On the outside? We went through so much together before I ended up in this freaking place. It still seems so unreal. Want to talk about it? Oh, I don't know. It's fine if you don't. It's just, well, I've done enough talking. I'm happy to lend an ear. You're sweet. I don't know. It's blurry. It was a long time ago. For once, things looked to be on the up. I was so stupid. I let myself believe we might be in for some good fortune for a change. What happened? 
he met this guy. A bit older, maybe mid-fifties. He seemed nice enough. We'd been out in the cold for days after our shelter got ransacked and... Looking back, it was too good to be true. But we were desperate, Barney and me. This guy, is he the one that you... That you... <laughs> no, no, not him. I freaking wish. So what happened? Well, he took us in. At first, he was nice, gave us food, water, shelter. But then one day, it changed. He said he had something to show me, told me to close my eyes. I wish I never had. Next thing I knew, we were in a cellar. The whole place was covered in dust and my head was killing me. Barney was crying. I still don't remember exactly what happened, but we were there for days. It was awful. I didn't know what to do. Barney was being his usual chirpy self quickly enough. <laughs> Sounds like a good kid you've got. So what happened? Well, you don't need to know about all of this. What are you, my therapist? I don't mind, honestly. If nothing else, it's good to hear another voice. Well, if you're sure. We'd been trapped for a while, and one day, I just knew we had to get out right then and there. La 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 la. La la la. Barney. La 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 la. La la la, tra la 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 la. Barney, what are you doing? Singing. La 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 la. I can hear that, Barney. Sweetheart, could you give it a rest, please? La 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 la. Barney, you need to stop singing now, please. Join in, Mummy! Barney, I really need you to stop. Please, you're... La, la, la. Barney! But, <sighs> Mommy, I was just playing. It's always that, isn't it? You're always just bloody playing. Mommy, you said a bad word. I know, Barney. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Mommy? Yes, sweetheart? Are you cross with me? Oh, no, sweetheart. It's just... It doesn't matter. Hey, I know a good game to play. Remember the game where we have to be really quiet? Oh, yeah. Do you remember that one? Do you remember why we have to be quiet? Or the bad man will come. Exactly. That game's fun, right? Well, I think now's the time to play that game. Yay! Barney, be... Barney, be really quiet for me, okay? What the hell is all that racket? It's nothing. Sorry. Don't make me come in there. I will, you know. I know. It's alright. I promise. You need to learn to shut him up. Come on. He's just a kid. Hey! I'm five and a half. Barney, shh! Ha <laughs> ha! Isn't he adorable? I have half a mind to come in there anyway, just to see his face. No, no, honestly, we're fine. He was just playing, but he'll be quiet. We won't disturb you anymore. See to it that you don't. Did I make the bad man come? Oh, Barney, it's okay. It isn't your fault. This game isn't fun anymore. I know, sweetheart. I know. Don't worry. We don't have to play for much longer, I promise. Tell you what. 
Let's find something to play with. Shall we have a look in the big box? Okay, can I get the key? Sure. Mommy, here you go. Thank you, Barney. Here we go. Some blocks. You can play with those, right? Blocks? Mommy, I'm five and a half. I know, sweetheart. You're the biggest boy. But I can't find anything else in here. <sighs> Mommy, I really don't want to play with these. Well, what do you want to do then? I don't know. We could just talk. Really? Talking's no fun. <laughs> well, sweetheart, I don't know then. I'm sorry. Maybe you'll feel more talkative in a bit. Okay. Let's search a little bit. Uh, uh, yeah, Alice, that's you. There's nothing else in there you need. Nothing of interest. Don't need to use the hog. What's this? I think there's something behind the plant. Let me have a look. There's a hole in the wall here. The hole is quite big. Big enough for looking through, although it's difficult to see from here what's on the other side. you really seem to like it in here, in this room. Is being in here... Is being here a game you like playing? It's okay. Do you remember when you first got here? Yeah. Mommy got hurt. She did. It's warm in here. It sure is. <laughs> Warmer than outside. Sometimes it's boring. There's nothing to do in here. But you've got a wonderful imagination. The games you come up with, you really impress me. You're growing up into such a creative young man. I wish there were more games in that box, though. Outside? Did you like it outside? At home? Well, no. In the outdoors. I like the snow. It's definitely pretty. Is it still snowing outside? Can we go and see? No, sweetheart. No, we can't. Not right now. But is it still snowing? I don't know. We can't tell. We can't tell, can we? Oh, right. Yeah, we're downstairs. Yeah. We're safe in here, though. We can't get so cold that we go dead. Oh, Barney. Don't say that. Why not? Well, well, no, I guess you're right. We can't. The snow is fun, but cold. Yeah. Yeah, it is. The bad man. Come here, little miss. I'm sorry I shouted at you before. When I made the bad man come, sweetheart. I promise you, it wasn't your fault. Why is he the bad man? Well, well, he's done some not very nice things, hasn't he? Like what? Well, you remember that he hurt mommy, don't you? Oh, yeah. But he keeps us safe. He made us warm and gave us a new house. He did. Why do we have to stay quiet? when the bad man's there. I'd like to point out that's actually a really insightful question for a five and a half year old. It's really perceptive. Well, sweetheart, he doesn't like us making too much noise. 
He doesn't like being disturbed. But sometimes he likes to see me. He brungin me a lolly one time. Brought. But yeah, he did. Hang on, my cat's flicking her tail in front of the camera. Come here! Brought. But yeah, he did. What flavor was it again? Strawberry. Strawberry, that's right. Mommy? What's the bad man's name? Well, sweetheart, I... I don't think we really know. I think he should be called Peter. Why is that? It's a nice name. Barney? Barney? How are you doing? What am I doing when? No, how are you doing? How do you feel? Fine. Really? That's good. I know this must be difficult for you. I miss playing in the snow. I know, sweetie. I know. Do you ever feel sad or angry or anything? Not really. I feel bored. <laughs> yeah, me too, kiddo. What's kiddo? You. You're my kiddo. I am not a kid. I'm five and a half. I keep telling you. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I know. You're a brilliant young man. Barney. He's never hurt you, has he? I mean, I know I'm always here, but I suppose I'm asleep he could. No one hurts me. I'm strong as a lion. Look, watch me roar. Roar! Wow, what a ferocious lion. I am, aren't I? You should be scared, mummy. <gasps> oh no, a lion. It's not real, silly. Oh. Oh, silly me. Escaping. You know, Barney, sometimes all I want to do is get out of here. Why? I guess I miss life outside. But we were colding to death. Freezing to death. And anyway, don't be silly. Don't say that. We were cold, though, I have to admit. But this isn't the life for us. We can't stay here forever. But the door is locked. I know, sweetheart. Believe me, I know. We'll just have to wait till the light is broke. Broken? Wait, why did you say that? When the bad man fixes the light, the door goes open. What do you mean, sweetheart? The bad man. He was on the telephone. You were sleeping. You were doing sleeping. Aw, Barney. He said on the telephone, something about being scared, the light will go broken. The door opens. Yeah, silly. Don't you listen? When? When the bad man goes on the telephone, when you're doing sleeping. Except I'm not doing sleeping. Because I stay awake and listen. Because I never get tired. Barney. Barney, listen to me. Can you remember exactly what you heard him say? He's scared the light will go broken, because when it does, he has to press some buttons and the door stops being locked. There must be a problem with the wiring. He definitely said this. Yeah, I heard him. I'm not a liar. Sweetheart, I know. This is just... This might be important. Why? Because... Because if I can just work something out, you might have bought us our ticket to get out of here. Don't be silly, Mommy. We don't have any money. <laughs> no, sweetheart, no. I know we don't. I love you so much, Barney. You know that, right? I love you too, Mommy. I'm going to have a look around, okay? Okay, Mommy. Come on, sweetheart. Okay, Barney. I need you to listen to me. I'm going to try something. I don't know if it'll work. I hope it will. I think I know how to get us out of here. Why are we going out of here? Because, Barney, we can't be around the bad man any longer. Why? We just can't. 
But why, Mommy? Because... Because I'm scared of him. Barney, I don't like what to think he might do to us. Okay. Okay, now. You know how you're so good at playing games? I'm the best! That's right. Well, I need you to play a game with me. Do you think you can do that? Yeah! Okay. Remember before how I told you to be quiet? Well, in a minute, I am going to need you to be really loud. Loud like a lion. Can I roar? No, don't roar. I need you to scream and shout. I need you to pretend like you're really scared. And I'm going to do the same. We're going to say the light is out and it's pitch black and we can't see anything. Why? Barney, remember how you heard the bad man on the telephone? Yeah. Well, I think if we pretend the light has gone out, he'll have to reset the power. That's what makes the light stay on. And when he does that, if I'm right, I think the door will open. Just for a few seconds. And when that happens, we have to run. As fast as we can. As fast as we've ever run before. Do you think you can do that? I'm as fast as can be. Well, that's great news. But mommy, the light isn't out. I know, sweetheart. But we can pretend it is. Do you see that hole in the wall? Yeah. That's how the bad man checks on us. You know how he doesn't come in here often. When he talks to us, he peeps through the hole. But I've blocked the hole up. So he won't be able to see through. When he looks through, it'll look pitch black in here. Oh. So, sweetheart, are you ready? I think so. Okay. When I start shouting, you do the same. Okay. Okay. Here goes. Help. Help, please. I think, I think the power's gone out or something. Can you hear me? Help, 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 please. We can't see anything in here. It's pitch black. We can't see. What's going on in there? I thought I told you to keep it down. I'm sorry. I know you hate being disturbed. It's just, well, has there been a power cut? The light's gone out. We can't see a thing. Not as far as I know. Well, the light's out. Honestly, we can't see it all. It's so dark. Barney's getting scared. Can't you see? Come on. I know you've got some way of watching us in here. Hmm. We can't this wait. We can't see five inches in front of our faces. Please. Barney is getting scared. I guess I'll go and reset the power then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Right, Barney. We need to get ready, okay? In a minute, I'm going to count to three. When I get to three, we run. Just follow me. Make sure you keep up. And all we have to do is keep running. Do you understand? Yes, I think so. You're really, really brave, Barney. Do you know that? I know. Okay, here we go then. Okay, ready? One, two, three, run! So what happened then? We ran. And then we walked for... It felt like forever. Go on. No. No. I think that's enough for today. Hmm. Haven't heard a peep out of Alice all morning. Hope she's okay. Well, I'm sure she's fine. Just tired. I suppose I'll take a shower while I wait. Alrighty, everybody. That's what we're going to call for now. <laughs> I hope you are enjoying this series so far. I know it's just getting started. There's 
not much to go on, but there's so much mystery already between our two characters. If you liked this video, please hit subscribe or dislike the video. That helps me out a lot. I will keep continuing this series. You all have a lovely day.